What's up, it's Embers. If you're new to Eve Echoes, it's easy to get confused about how to play this game. Unlike a traditional MMO, Eve is based on real time and not XP to progress your character. It also has a very high learning curve, so don't get frustrated or aggravated early on. The best way to explain this game is like this. In a traditional MMO, you do quests and or you kill mobs to gain XP, which in turn help you level up. In EVE, there is no XP. Instead, a character naturally progresses and gets stronger over time based on the skills that you learn. So whatever you want to do in the game, you simply learn those skills. For example, you can learn Frigate Command, you can learn Shield Operations, you can learn Frigate Manufacturing. There's all types of things that you can learn. It's all based on what you want to do within the game. And because the game is time-based, you can play one hour a day to five hours a day, and your core character progression is the same. I'll give you an example. If my friend and I both started an account on launch day, which was August 13th at 4 a.m. my time, and I played five hours a day since then, and my friend only played one hour a day since then, we would both be tech level 6, 52%. The only difference would be my account would have more ISK, which is money. Our characters themselves would still be the same strength though. The only way to learn them faster would be to buy subscriptions and as you can see as my account I have both the basic and standard which is the combo Omega. You can also purchase different cognitive neuroscience chips and you can purchase those from the shop. You can purchase them in set of threes or you can purchase them individually. These also help increase how quickly you learn skill points and these are one-time purchase items that stay active through the duration of your account. Another great advantage of EVE is the skill queue. It allows you to learn skills nonstop, whether you are online or offline. As you can see, I currently have a skill that I will take me 212 hours to learn, but I can remove that skill and learn other skills instead. And it'll simply just add to the queue and the game will learn these skills for me, even if I'm online or offline. So if you had a busy week at work and can't play, it doesn't really matter because all these skills will still be trained while you're offline. And you can always edit and remove them and switch them up. You don't lose anything. So you could add shield operations, armor operations, engineering, frigate engineering, destroyer engineering, target management. All these skills you can simply add to the queue and it will automatically learn whether you're online or offline. And as you continue to learn skills, your tech level will slowly increase. And that's it. This has been a basic overview of character progression in Eve Echoes. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.